Hello everyone, happy to see you here. Welcome back to my channel High Mathematics. Today we have a very interesting equation b square minus b cube equal to 12. We need to solve this equation for b, so if you have your answer, your approach, you can also write it in the comments below and then we will check your answer. So it will be it will be really interesting to exchange information in the end, in the end of the video. So first of all, let's subtract this 12 from both sides. This is our first step. First of all, we're gonna write it as b square, so the same beginning, b square minus this b cube. And we have minus 12, so we subtract this 12 from both from both sides. Right now, this 12 we can write in, in, a, in a lot of ways. Obviously, we can write it as 6 plus 6, we can write it as 9 plus 3, but the best way to express this 12 is the next one. So we have this 12, we can write it as 8 plus 4. Okay, and a lot of students might be asking why we why we choose this way, why 8 plus 4, why not like 6 plus 6? And right now, this 8, that's why, because this 8 we can write as 2 cube. This 4 we can write as 2 as 2 square. So then we can easily group our cubes, our squares. So then we can easily work a little bit with with this um, with these uh, formulas, maybe squares, maybe sum of cubes or something like that. So right now let's let's start with that thing. So uh, let's express this 8 and uh, let's express this 12 as 8 plus 4. So we have b square minus b cube minus instead of this 12, we're gonna write this one, 8 plus 4, 8 plus 4 equal to zero. Right now let's open our uh, our parenthesis real quick. So we have b square minus b cube minus 8 and minus 4 equal to zero. And right now, as I said before, this 8 can be written as 2 cube. This 4 right here can be written as 2 square. So right now let's do this. Not like substitution. This is the same value. This is not like a substitution. This is the way how can we get our mm, factors. Yeah. So let's do it. So we have b square minus b cube minus instead of this 8 we're gonna write 2 cube minus 2 cube and instead of this 4 we're gonna write 2 square so we have 2 square equal to equal to 0 and right now as I said before we have b square b cube 2 cube uh, 2 square so we have four expressions two variables two constants so right now let's group it so we have b square we can group it with with 2 square this b cube we can easily group with the with this with these two cubes. Right now, right now, let's do this. Let's try to combine. Let's try to let's try to group it. I'm going to start with this uh, difference of squares. So b square minus two square. I'm going to start with that. So b square minus two square. I'm going to start with this. This is our first first parenthesis, and we have minus b cube plus two cube. Yeah. So we have minus b cube b cube plus two cube plus two two cube equal to zero and right now we don't need like to go back to like uh, exact value of two squares of equal to four right here equal to eight let's see it like from a different uh, from different perspective we have difference of two squares and we have a thumb of two cubes so right now let's remember this formula from school because these are basic formulas difference of squares everyone should know about this formula so we have x square minus minus y square equal to x plus y everyone knows about this formula so x plus y x minus y maybe this is like the most popular formula to be honest a lot of students know this a lot of people use this formula nowadays the, the next one this have a sum of two cubes maybe a little bit like more complicated mm, this is not like this one this is not the youth that useful formula that uh, this uh, this first one but let's do it so x cube plus y cube so sum of two of two cubes and according to uh, algebra this have a table case yeah and according to algebra knowledge equal to x plus y yeah x plus y and the second parenthesis so we have x square x square minus x y and plus y square so we know everything right now let's apply it right here we're gonna apply a difference of squares right here we're gonna apply mm, a thumb of two cubes so let's do it right now i'm gonna start it on the left side because maybe we'll have like a lot of a lot of parentheses so let's start with it first of all i'm gonna apply uh, difference of squares so b minus 2 b plus 2 doesn't matter so we're gonna write it as b plus 2 b minus 2 so we have b plus 2 b minus 2 b minus 2 the second one we have minus and i'm gonna write it with the with the parentheses or doesn't matter you can write it without parentheses so let's do it so b cube uh, plus 2 cube 2 cube we can write it as um so we have b plus 2 yeah so we have b plus 2 according to this formula and the second parentheses we have b square minus what do we have right here minus 2b minus 2b and we have plus 2 square so plus 4 
plus 4 equal to 0. Okay, so we factor our two parts, the first one on the left side of this subtraction sign and the second part. Right now let's look closely what do we have. We have four parentheses, but if you look more detailly, we can see b plus 2 and we have b plus 2, so we can easily factor this b, b plus 2. We can easily factor it as a common, so let's do it right now. So we have b plus 2. And in another parenthesis, what do we have? We have, I'm gonna start with this, with this big parenthesis. What do we have? We have b minus 2 from here. We still have this one, so we have b minus 2 from here. b minus 2 minus, uh, from, from this part we have only b square minus 2b plus 4. So let's do it, so b square minus 2b and plus and plus 4. Right now let's simplify it. So as you can see, we factor this, we factor this part, we have a great beginning, so b plus 2, we can easily find it real quick over root, but like don't you don't need to hurry up real quick. So we have b plus 2, and in the second part we need to simplify this expression. So without any problems, we have only parentheses, so without any problems we can, we can get rid of these parentheses because we have a positive sign in the beginning, so we have b minus 2 in the beginning, minus this one, we need to change all the signs uh, to the opposite one, so b square uh, minus b square plus uh, 2b and minus 4, yeah, minus, uh, minus 4 equal to 0. Right now let's find uh, find the canon things right here, we have b and we have we have 2b, so as a result we have uh, we have 3b and with this, with this constant we have minus 2, minus 4, we have we have minus 6. So let's do it right now. So we have b plus 2. And in another parenthesis, what do we have? We have minus b square. So let's start with it, minus b square. Because this is like a quadratic equation. Yes, we have like the highest power is the second one, so it means that we have quadratic equation. So let's start with the with the correct order. Minus b square. What about b? b plus 2b plus 3b plus 3b. And minus 2 minus 4, we have minus minus 6, yeah, minus 6. And for better understanding, of course, at this part, at this part, you can easily mm, split it by two parts, at this parenthesis equal to 0, or this parenthesis equal to 0, but I suggest you to multiply both sides by minus 1, and uh, this uh, this is why, because we have a negative sign, and a lot of students like don't understand why we have negative, because they prefer a classic, a classic uh, order, they prefer like ax square, uh, plus bx and plus c. They prefer a classic uh, quadratic equation without a negative sign. They they don't like it. This is my suggestion. So we need to multiply it by minus one, and then the same beginning. So we have b plus two, and right here we change all these signs. So we have b square minus three b minus three b and plus plus six equal to zero. And right now at this part everything is great. A great and really cute, really cute parenthesis, really cute in terms of math of course, yeah? So we have a product of two parentheses equal to zero when the first parenthesis is equal to zero or the second parenthesis is equal to zero. So let's start for example with the with the first parenthesis. So b plus two equal to zero. So from here b first equal to minus minus two. And I'm gonna underline this part. This is our real number root. We find our uh, first uh, real number root. What about this parenthesis? So let's see. Let's see. So b square minus 3b plus 6 equal to equal to zero. So right now uh, this is a quadratic equation and of course this is up to you how do you prefer solving this uh, quadratic equation. I prefer solving this quadratic equation with the basic method of coefficients. So a equal to, from here a equal to 1, b equal to minus 3, b equal to minus 3, and c c equal to equal to 6. Okay, right now let's let's find real quick our uh, our discriminants of so d equal to b square minus 4ac. I prefer solving discriminant at first and then I'm plugging it because it will be like a lot of math in our in our like uh, it's a mathy expression. Yeah, when we have a lot of a lot of things, I prefer solving a discriminant at first. So we have b square equal to minus 3 square minus 4ac 4 times 1 and times 6. What do we have from here? Minus 3 square equal to 9 minus uh, 4 times 6 equal to 24. So as a result we have minus 15. So our discriminant is negative. So it means that in this part we're gonna have like two, uh, two complex roots. So let's let's find our um, our complex roots. So in this case we're gonna have like b second and b third equal to we have uh, minus b plus minus square root of d. So a classic formula minus b plus minus square root of d and all over to a. As a result we have minus b. So we have minus minus 3 plus minus square root of discriminant, square root of minus 15, 
and all over 2 times a, 2 times 1, okay? So minus minus 3 equal to plus, so we have uh, only 3, so we have 3 plus minus, and I suggest you mm, to split this part. Every time you have a negative expression in a, in a square root, so it it's also mean that we can't get a correct value in terms of real numbers, because we can't get a negative value, we can apply this square root to a negative value, so every time I suggest you to split this part by a uh, square root of minus one, yeah, we can split it like that, and times square root of square root of 15, okay? I suggest you to split it like that, okay? Right now this square root of minus one equal to, uh, this is our i, this is our imaginary unit, yeah? So as a result we have equal to three plus minus square root of minus one equal to, uh, equal to i, square root of 15, so we can't express this as like 9 times something, so we can't get something from here, so we can't get a square root from here, so we leave it this square root of 15 like that, without any changes, and all over, all over 2. And of course a lot of students prefer like to split it like a real part and a imaginary part, yeah? A lot of students prefer solving like that, so of course if you're interested in this we can easily split this, so we can divide our numerator by, by these two, so 3 half plus minus i square root of 15 over, over 2. Of course this is our imaginary part because we have our i and this is our, this is our real part. Okay, and uh, the final thing, let's check real quick our b first equal to minus 2 in our equation and let's write our, uh, our final answer. So I'm gonna write uh, the final answer real quick, let's do it, uh, for example, right here in the on the right bottom angle. So we have our answer. We have b first equal to minus 2, this is our first, first root. b second equal to 3 half plus i square root of 15 over 2. And of course, b third equal to 3 half with the negative sign minus i square root of 15 over 2. So these two roots are complex root roots. This one is real real number root. And this is our answer, full answer to this uh, to this question. Let's check real quick about b first equal to uh, minus 2 right here. So let's check, let's prove, let's write it as prove. So we have b, b square minus b cube equal to equal to 12. Let's let's plug in this minus 2 instead of this b. Let's see. So we have minus 2 square minus minus 2 cube equal to equal to 12. All right, uh, minus 2 square equal to 4. Right here we have minus 2 cubes, so it means that we still have negative sign because we have odd power. With this negative sign we have plus, so we have plus 2 cube equal to equal to 8. So as a result we have 12, yeah? Our root is is correct. And few really interesting hints for me, because maybe a lot of students might be thinking maybe we have like more roots right here, maybe four, five, six root. And here's my quick pro, quick recommendation, quick quick hint from you for you, because um, there's like a great for, uh, theorem, uh, this like fundamental theorem of algebra. It means that, uh, I'm gonna say in th like simply words without any like a uh, definition. So for example, you scan your equation, like something like that, okay? b square minus b cube equal to 12. And you uh, you need to find what is like the highest power in your in your equation. Like in my case, of course not two, but three is the highest power in my equation. So it means that according to a fundamental theorem of algebra, we will have uh, three roots in total. This is like a maximum amount of roots that we can get from this equation, yeah? This is not like uh, we have uh, two, we can easily get, of course, two roots, one root, three root, but not four. So this is like a maximum amount of roots. So it means, what does it mean, like in simple words? It means that you have three roots in total. How many real number roots, how many complex number roots, it depends on what equation uh, you're solving, okay? So this is a really, really important moment. In my case, three is the highest power, so it means that we have three three roots in total, in my case, exactly in my case, one real number root, two complex root. It can, it can be like uh, two real, one complex, it can be two complex without real number roots, you know, a lot of combination, but the maximum amount in three is three, so we, we solve this question uh, correctly. And I really hope you understand my, 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 my hints, my, my recommendation, because uh, like uh, for for more like uh, calculations, we can easily write, uh, let's do it like b to the power five, minus b to the power 7 plus b square equal to 5, something like that, okay? And according to a fundamental theorem of algebra, we need to scan what is the highest power. We have 5, 6, and, uh, 7, and 2. What is the highest power? Of course, 7 is the highest power. So it means that we have 7 roots in total. 
how many real number roots we can get like uh, I don't know how how many how many real number roots and complex roots we get from here but seven is the maximum amount of roots we can get like we can get two real five complex uh, five real two complex and a lot of combination we can get like less we can get two real two complex you know a lot of combination but it is like a quick proof for you when you solve a cubic equation it means that when you solve this question with the four roots it means something goes wrong yeah because we can't get uh, four roots from here and yeah this is my thing this is my hints i really hope you understand it so thank you for your time, have a great day, see you in the next videos, take care of yourself, also write your thoughts, write your response, write your assumption, write your notes in the comment below, it will be really interesting to exchange information. See you in the next videos, <laughs> have a great day, and take care of yourself, also I really want to say thank you everyone for watching, thank you for your for your response, for your, for your support, and yeah, see you in the next videos, take care of yourself.